Hello, all. good afternoon. Thank you very much for joining today's meeting and today's virtual tour on Mia Prefecture. So i just like to check before we start, everybody can hear me, right? If not, please let me know in the chat or please ping me in any way. Thank you so much. So thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Good afternoon. My name is Sabine. Thank you for joining us for the Mia virtual tour. So today we will experience certain um, attractions together to experience um, the local delicacies and also tours with our local correspondents who are already positioned at various attractions in Mie Prefecture. So we will experience how we can enjoy our time in Mie Prefecture with our correspondents and food reports. So again, this is your MC for today, Sabine. So to start off, let me briefly introduce to you some of the places we will be visiting together today together with our local correspondents as well. So we will be live streaming with our correspondents from a few locations. So we'll have live stream from the Iga Ryu Ninja Museum, and we'll have an introduction on the Gokatsura Ike Urusato village. Also, we'll have um, introduction on the Hachiman Kamado Amahat, as well as live stream from Sato Umi An Amahat. Next, we'll have introduction on um, Magose Toge Hiking Trail, followed by our live correspondence from the Mikimoto Pearl Island. Okay, so let me introduce you our correspondence at the each local location. So first of all, we'll have Kito at the Igario Ninja Museum. Hi, Kito. Hello. Hey, everyone, how are you? My name is Kito. I'm now in Iga. View Ninja Museum. Yeah, uh, this uh, museum is actually located in Iga City in uh, Mie Prefecture. At the back of me, later we will introduce you to you. See you later. Come back to me later. Thank you. Okay, next, let's go to Tamasan at Sato Omiyan Amahat. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. This is Tama from Sato Omiyan. Later, we will introduce you to the center of the Amasa. Thank you. See you later. Thank you so much. Okay, next, let's go to Maxim at the Mikimoto Pearl Island. In a few minutes, I will present you this very nice pearl museum and a place where I think we will start with pearls. See you later. See you later, Maxim. Okay, thanks so much, everybody, from the local attractions. So, next, we will go into each detail of the local attractions that we'll be visiting and also introducing. And later on during the program, we'll also have a few quizzes, which I will get all of you to answer. And do input your answers in the quiz box later on that will be flashed on the screen. And by the way, do you already receive the novelty goods that we sent you earlier on? Okay, so if you have them with you, maybe you can put it on your desk in front of you. So you can have a 364D kind of tour today together with us. You can see and then you can taste and you can maybe feel something during the tour. Thank you so much, everybody. Okay, and then next, we also have a lucky draw at the end of the program. So one winner will leave with a special prize. So do stay with us until the end of the program today. Okay, with this, I have given an overview of today's tour. So let us move on to the first attraction of the day. It will be at the Iga Ryu Ninja Museum. But um, before we connect live to Kito again, um, we will be seeing a video, but let me introduce you on this uh, museum first. So in Mie's Iga City, it is said to have two large ninja clans, and one of it is the Iga Ryu Ninja Clan. So before we connect to Kito, let's view the video together to have a um, more detailed view of what is in store for you at the museum. BTR, onegaishimasu. Located in the mountains of Mie Prefecture, the city of Iga, with its towering castle, has long been known as the home of the ninja and there is no better place to learn about their unique history and culture than the Igadu Ninja Museum. Hi everyone, today we're at the Iga Ninja Museum. So, these days through manga and anime, ninja become quite popular figures. Um, 
for people who like Japan. Uh, they're about as well known as samurai, but more mysterious. So we're here to find out the actual history behind who these people were. The quaint city of Iga, with a population of about 90,000, is located inland in coastal Mie Prefecture. Fortunately, many remnants of its ancient past have been preserved to this day. In addition to an authentic ninja mansion, the Iga Du Ninja Museum offers a variety of demonstrations and hands-on activities. Today, our guide Mr. Okamoto will be demystifying Iga's famous ninja. <laughs> ま、今ですと、よくアニメとか漫画で忍者っていうのを登場するんですが、実際には本当に存在しかあるかな。もちろん、あの、存在してました。これはもう文献でも残ってますし、あとはその、ま、子孫の方、今日もなりらっしゃ
ね、なのでそしてこの原理で洗う間違えて踏んじゃいそうなんですけれども障子が入っている状態だと歩こうとすると肩に当たってしまいますのでなかなか人はこの端っこを歩こうとしませんなので普通に生活している範囲であれば開かないようになります There are many more tricks hidden inside this ninja mansion, or Karakuri Yashiki in Japanese, so we definitely recommend a visit. Next, we'll try our hand at throwing shuriken, a ninja weapon of choice. Okay, so now we're at the shuriken throwing range, where we're gonna have Okamoto san show us how the ninja turn these throwing stars into deadly weapons. So, Okamoto san, can you show us how to throw the shuriken? Yes, I can. The shuriken is like this. The shuriken is like this. 挟んでますでいろんな打ち方があるんですが基本的には上から下にまっすぐ相手に向かって手裏剣を上から下にするとしっかり回転して刺さると。Okay, so Robin's gonna give it a go. Let's see if she actually gets it on target. I'll be lucky if I can make it anywhere within the target mark. I bet, I bet you can. We'll see how I bet it you can. Right. Staying away. <laughs> First one was good. My very first go, put it right in the middle. Beginner's luck is pretty good. Beginner's luck, yeah. Right. The museum houses around 1,000 artifacts related to ninja and ninjutsu from all over Japan, not just the region's famous Igeju and Kobayu. The exhibits paint a clear picture of life during the Ninja Golden Age. At the end of the tour, we'll hear from Mr. Okamoto about how the wisdom of the ninja can still be applied to our lives today. ニンジャの世界を見たり、自分のカノトのためにつかうものを、趣味しようとのためにそういったものを見ることは良くないことだ。これを間違えるとニンジャではなくなってしまうっていう考え方がある。僕が思うにはその今の現代社会っていうのは
immensely cold all the ninjas were and i really really want to try the trick door that was rotating so really one day i want to visit there as well with everybody okay next um let us connect live with kito and okamoto song okamoto san at the ika ryu ninja museum welcome back i'm kito again yeah at the back of me have you seen the video this is the house yeah this is the a uh, traditional farmhouse in Japan but it's inside is it's totally different yeah inside is a real ninja house yeah welcome again yeah this is Siga and uh, in uh, Mie prefecture uh, uh, the ninja museum started in 1964 and now we're going to do some tricks you know because uh, if you've seen in the, in the building there's a lot of artifacts in uh, in in the building where a lot of weapons being used by ninja yeah so right now we go to the uh, shuriken yeah shuriken is a hidden hand blade okay this is not the real one this is just a silicon yeah silicon weapon yeah uh, just want to show you maybe you have it with you there yeah uh, see whether we can find any ninjas around oh friend yeah our friend okamoto ninja yeah so this is the shuriken, not the real one. Okamoto is holding, Okamoto-san is holding the real shuriken. It's made of metal steel. Yeah, it's very sharp. Yeah, it's just like a knife. Yeah. So, ninja always keep their shuriken. They don't have like any pieces. No, they only have one piece at that time because metal is very expensive. It, so, Okamoto-san, okay, let's show as we go to the attraction where if you come to Iga Ryu uh, Ninja Museum, you can actually try yourself in hand the real way of doing this blade. Yeah, it's a shooting star. Yeah? Shooting star, you can actually hit and uh, cut you. Yeah, cut you or if you can poke you. Yeah? So this is the target place where they practice practice with this blade. Yeah, Okamoto-san. Okay, the basic, yeah, the basic is from the top to the bottom, yeah. Can you see? Wow, he's a he's a pro, yeah. The way he throw the darts, throw the blade. It goes straight to the target. Yeah, it's not so easy. It looks easy. Then I can show you. Yeah, they also have. Uh, uh, turn the body and throw. Yeah, there's another technique there. Yeah. Uh, uh, your, your back is uh, facing the, the wall. Then you throw the darts yeah, sideways. Yeah. So you're, you're facing the wall, but you, you have an opening here where you can throw using sideways. Yeah. That's right. Hidden hand, hidden hand uh, blade. Yeah. You can cover, you can actually hide the blade from the from the bottom. Yeah, from the bottom, you can even throw it from the bottom. Wow, look at that. Yeah, right on the spot, yeah, 50. Yeah, can I try? Yeah, let me let me try. No, this way, yeah, yeah and throw. Wow. wow, not bad, not bad, not bad. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, not too bad, yeah. <laughs> uh, so he, uh, Okamoto Sa, has been here many many years, and uh, he also practice been practicing how to throw this blade. Yeah, this is a very uh, sharp blade where. The ninja has a lot of weapon. This is one of them. One of them being used uh, during the ancient time. Yeah. So, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. So, uh, this is a blade where you have it at home. Yeah, you can actually try throwing it. Yeah, it's actually spinning. Yeah, you have to spin spin the blade where this thing spin and 
cut into someone yeah but this 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 uh, silicon uh, blade you won't cut you won't cut yeah. so as a ninja yeah uh, they try to avoid the confrontation of someone because fighting will actually destroy them yeah actually destroy so what ninja is all about is try to hide yeah uh, ninja uh, いろんなトレーニングするんですよね。そうですね。いろんなトレーニング。まずはあの体も鍛えますけども、そこでのトレーニング。ああ。でせ、the <笑> sharp this to cut into the ball. Uh, can you see? It goes into the ball. It's very, very sharp. Yeah. Oh, this is dangerous. Yeah. I just cannot imagine how they use this during the ancient times. Yeah. Never, never try this at home. It's dangerous. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next, we have a quiz for you. Very simple quiz, yeah. Uh, beginning stage, and you know, I've given you a, a hint. This is a, this is a question uh, where ninja, how they sleep, yeah. Everyone sleeps, uh, ninja also sleep, they are human too. They are, they are not superhuman, they are just human, yeah. Okay, I give you three answers A, B, C. You just choose one answer, yeah. Okay, uh, how does ninja sleep at night or even daytime, yeah. Uh, a is face to the right, B is face to the left, and C facing downwards. So can you give me the answer in 30 seconds? Come on, 30 seconds. Yes, 30 yeah. seconds. Quick, 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 quick. Yeah, 30 seconds. Yeah, simple death, yes. simple death. Counting down so now. Simple answer. Counting down, counting yeah. down, counting 15 down. 15 seconds left. Yeah. 15 yeah. seconds. Coming now, okay, 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 左を下にしてめることでこう打たれても心臓を守る。そう、ninja has a Yay! <laughs> okay, next uh, we have a section where you can ask some question if you have. Yeah, yeah question and answer time. Please, if you have answer, uh, I mean, you have yes. question. Sorry. <laughs> yes, everybody, please ask away. You can you can use the Q and A function for your any questions. questions to Any questions for us? Small one. We want the question. Yay. Any questions? He's waiting for the question. Yeah. Okay. Is he then, married? Don't ask the question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then I'll I'll go first. Is it okay? This is Sabine from Singapore. Okay.私から一つの質問がありまして、あのミュージアム行くとき外国語でのアンナイヤカンフレットはありますか? Okay. So, oh. are there any pamphlets in foreign uh, languages they, for the visitors? Uh, ちょっとあの質問がパンフレットとかあの英語対応できますか？もしこれ来たら。パンフレットは英語のものを用意しておりますし、個人で好きな中のご案内は英語の音声が流れるようになってますので対応いたします。あ、先日もあの英語のキャ
using the PA system. Yeah, during the PA system. So there's no not much of problem when you can uh, visit them. Yeah. Uh, even though they don't speak the English language, but you can actually get uh, information from the pamphlet and the information from the uh, PA system. Thank Any you. more uh, questions? Great. Yes. Uh, we are open for more questions. So if you have more questions, please um, put them in the Q&A box. If not, I will ask another question. Meanwhile, so most of the small items, I have another question. So um, can, okay. kids, can kids try the shuriken throwing? Kodomo the most important the kids must know how to throw a ball. Yeah, it's just like throwing a ball. Yeah. Uh, they can start throwing a ball like three or four years old. So three or four years old, they don't give the shuriken dish up. Maybe a little bit blunt, yeah? Uh, yeah, a little bit blunt, so you won't cut your fingers. Yeah, it's safe, yeah, because Olga Morosan is always here to take care of them. Please come to Eagle View Ninja Museum. Yeah, uh, we are always here waiting for you. Yay, okay. Next, I have a very important question to ask. So, oh, okay. when I visit the museum, can I also dress as a ninja to have a full experience? So, oh, museum in uh, there. はい。あ、ミュージアムもしミュージアムコラレたらあのニンジャみたいなことを着たあの着てたんですか着たいんですか大丈夫ですか。えっとね、ここは狭いところだったんだけど、ここでは関係ないんですが、近くで衣装をレ
なこういうあの出荷されてますあのここではですねあのふるさと村としてはあの私とことあと1軒あるんですけどもかき狩りをしていただきたいということで始めてます、はい、それで滝というのはですねあのいろいろな作物が取れるということで「滝」という字が名前が付けられたということらしいです。はい、あの滝の木ってあの何本ぐらい育ててられますか現在36本ありますもう30年以上たってます。<laughs> First, we're taught how to pick out the best persimmons by Kawai san. You're a family, but you're a family. 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 こういう赤くってちょっと熟してきた時は白くこう何ちゅうんですかなってきますんさ、はい、こう大きくできるわけねあの糖度が乗ってきたっていうことで、はい、そういうのがいいと思います本当にあの硬いことは硬いですだけど糖度が乗ってくるということですけどねはいさあこれもお土産のホルモンですねこれはもう一つのホルモンですねこれはもう一つのホルモンですね What a huge persimmon, as expected of the famous Jiro persimmons. So, we've already filled up our bag, and it only took four persimmon to fill up about one kilo's worth,、uh, which means each one weighs about 250 grams. And you can take this home just like it is, or you can even eat them right here in the field, and they'll bring you out a cutting board and knife. They're much bigger and tastier looking than the ones you can. Normally, again, the supermarket, so we're both looking forward to trying them. Not only did Kawai san teach us how to pick the fruit, he told us how to grow them, how to make dried fruit, and the best ways to prepare them. Next, we made our way up to the Mikan trees. <laughs> So, we've just finished picking persimmon and we've hiked up the hill into the Mikan field. So, I've only ever had Mikan from the supermarket. I'm really looking forward to trying them fresh. So, we were just told that the best mikan are the ones that are slightly soft, a bit squishy. So, it's much sweeter and juicier than the ones you can normally find in the supermarket. You really can't tell in the supermarket, can you? I'm usually disappointed by the ones I get at the store. 
And, but these ones, I could probably sit around eating like 20. Mm. I, I think once you start, you probably can't stop eating them. There's also a natural sweetness. Mm. You know, like some, some of them, like they taste really artificial. So there's various sizes here, but we've been told that the smaller ones are actually sweeter. Mm. Once you start eating, you won't be able to stop. We hope you come to Taki to try these mikan that Kawai san has spent so much time growing. Here at Gokatsuraike, Purusato Village, there are mikan and persimmon fields and various other experiences to enjoy. For a fun family day out, you can take a swan boat out in the pond, which the kids are sure to love. There are also restaurants and a lovely little market, where you can buy vegetables and seasonings produced by local farmers, and freshly fried croquettes and desserts made from seasonal fruits. Kokatsuraike Furusato Village is a perfect day out for nature lovers looking for something a little different. And who can say no to freshly picked fruit? Okay, how was the video? Did everybody enjoy the fruit speaking and you, you want to try it? Okay, here we have a quiz for you guys again. So let's try the quiz together. Thank you. Okay, so the question for this section would be, what was the name of the persimmon you can pick at the Kokatsura, Kokatsura Ike Furusato village? Okay, so A is Taro, B is Jiro, and C is Saburo. So if you watch the video just now, you will know the answer. Thank you. Okay, we have about 45 seconds for you. Please select your answer for this quiz. Okay, counting down about 30 seconds now. Okay, counting down some more, about 15 seconds left. Please make your choice to the quiz. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, the correct answer is B, 0. So did you get the question, do you get the answer for today? Thank you so much for your participation for this quiz. Okay, then next up, let's go and meet some lady divers by the sea. The lady divers are called the Amasan, and we will meet some Amasan at their Amahat at Hachiman Kamado. So at this attraction, you can enjoy fresh seafood while you interact with the lady divers, the Amasan. Okay, then this attraction touches on Mie's traditional um, culture called the Amario, which is the lady diver fishing. Before we connect life to Tamasan by the sea, 
let's watch a video together to have a more detailed experience of what you will be expecting later. Okay, video, onegaishimasu. About a half hour south of Toba, the village of Osatsu has long prospered from the industry of Ama sea divers. We'll introduce you to a few of these incredible female divers, as well as some of the freshest seafood Matoya Bay has to offer. So we're here at Hachachiman to meet some Amasan, and Amasan are female divers. Uh, but today we actually get to talk with some and learn more about their experiences. And most exciting of all, this is all freshly caught. This is the celebrity course that you can try here. Um, and the Amazons are going to cook it for us. And we're going to eat all of it. So we're going to have to eat. Have to eat. Hachiman Kamado is a seaside ama hut where divers go to relax and warm up. They also welcome visitors, providing a unique opportunity to meet ama divers in person. Of course, measures to prevent the spread of germs are fully in place to ensure a safe experience for everyone. The fire pit in the center of the hut provides a space to keep warm, as well as grill up freshly caught seafood, such as ise shrimp and abalone. So we're in the Ama Hut now, and as you can see, there's a big fire pit right in the middle. It's great for keeping warm, and the Ama-san will actually cook the meal for you right before your eyes. Once the seafood is cooked and ready to eat, Yama kindly serve it up on plates for guests to enjoy. We're about to dig into our meal of fresh seafood, and it's been cooked right before us by an Ama-san. So, very professionally done, and we can't wait to try it. Alright, let's start. In addition to ise shrimp, abalone, and a variety of shellfish, today's special menu also features homemade miso soup and other side dishes. It's really soft and very tender. And quite sweet. It's really soft. It's really soft, yeah. This is definitely one of the best ways to enjoy fresh seafood. After the meal, there's time to chat beside the fire and learn all about a day in the life of an ama diver. So we've just finished our meal and now we have an opportunity to ask a few Amazon about their experiences. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
すごいですね。最後ね。やっぱりその、うん、長寿の秘訣というのもあるんですかね。その甘さの仕事をやっておられると。海の中でこう全身を動かしてね、仕事をしますので、それでいいのかなっていう潮の中でね、そう思いますけど。それと新しいその魚とかねそういうものを食べれますのでそれもいいのかなそれは長生きします<笑><笑>今その甘さやっておられる方で、はい、やっぱりその年代的に若い女性の方も多い方なんですかねあのねあの昔でしたらね泳げない人はここにお嫁に来れなかったぐらいなんですけど今はあのいろんなところから来ててね、うん、あの子育てが終わるとね、私たちも練習してみようかなって方がね、たくさんあのウエットスーツ着ててね、練習してみるね。ではいろんなねあの都道府県から、ね、地域から来て、そうですね。<笑>はい、<笑>あのアマさんの仕事では一番大変なことか、一番なんか嬉しいやりがいもあることをちょっと。教えていただけませんか。はい、あのね、あのー、一番偉い時っていうのはね、あのー、潮の流れがすごく強くてね。うん、あのー、獲物を見つけてきてもね、一旦上がってくると、もうあそこだあそこだと思って行ってもね。今度はそこは行けないんですよね、潮の流れが強くて、うんうん、そういう時はすごく偉いですね。はい。そうですね。一番やりがいのあると言えば、ありがとうございます。たくさんたくさん取れた。美味しい美味しいものを食べられる。ね、大きいのいっぱい取るんです。お、<笑>なんか自然とともになんか仕事をするってすごいいいなと思ってて、なんかオフィスずっとオフィスの中じゃなくてなんか本当に自然と一緒に働けて,ていいなと。多分それで長生きされてると思う、うん、そうかな<笑><笑>でもねあの天気がいいと本当にこの辺の人でしたらね、うん、女の人はね一日中この太陽の下でね、うん、畑の野菜を作ったりとかね、うん、あの田んぼのお米作ったりそしてああいうその雨の雨の潜、ね、りに行ったりとかね大変なんですよ、うんはい、でもそれもやっぱり生きがいみたいにして、塩気にやってるのがいいのかな。うん、だから真っ黒系です。す<笑>ご<笑>なんか自分の手で生きていけるって、すごいなと思います。な、うんか現代の都会暮らしの人に。から見たら、なんかすごく、うんうん。なんか自立。してるなと。と、うん、なんかこういう生活に。なんか戻りたい。うん方が多いと思います。世界では、ねね、そうかな、うんね。やっぱりちょっと自然にね戻りたいっていう、うん、まあ僕らの世代でもそうなんですけど、うん、ねなんか畑に興味持ってくる人とか、うん、農業に興味ある人とか、うん、すごく増えてきたので、多分、ねうん、こういう甘さの仕事も、うん、ね興味持ってくれる人をすごくいいんですけどね。都会にはいると思います。ところがね、今地球温暖化のせいもあってね。うんすごくあの海がね荒れてきてるんですね、うん、海藻がなくなってきてねすごく海藻が高いんですよね、うん、だからこうあの海藻がなくなってきてるんです、うん、自然がね破壊されてくっていうかね、はい、だからねあの冬場は生子を今から取るんですけどね生子はね水温が下がらないと出てこないのでね、うん、それがなかなかね出ないんですね私たちなんか将来どうなるかちょっと不安に、ね、<笑>思いますね。そうなんですよ。うん、雨が増えてもね、うん、自然がねなくなってきてるとね、なかなか難しいですよね。うん、それだけでは生活はしていけないですね、うん。まあでもこうやって本当にすぐそこの海からこうすぐ直接魚を運んできてね、まあ、一番あの。まあ、地球にも優しいし、もうなんか一番美味しい食べ方で、本当にね、うん、そうですね、自然にね、感じ、実感しましたね。うん。フードマイレージも、本当に少ないですね。<笑>こうすると。<笑>カープなんですけど、すごい綺麗なと思ってって、かすりですか。かすりです。古めがすりですね。はい。
。お姉さんも着てみましょうか。いいですか。うん、アマになってみてください。あ,ありがとうございます。<笑> So now I'm getting a chance to wear、um, traditional clothes that were actually handmade by the Amasan themselves. And this skirt is a kasuri material, and then this white upper is what they usually wear while diving. Jai, so that's it, eh? Kawaii, this, eh? これはかすりですけど、うん、白の真っ白なこれと一緒のね、こしをしてね、伸びた。寒くて寒くてね。<笑>寒そうね。はい。素敵や。In full traditional dress, it almost feels like I'd become a diver myself. So how do I look? Like you're about to go diving. I don't know about diving, but I have heard that I'll get to try dancing. Good luck. The beautiful ocean views and warmth of the locals make it easy to feel right at home in Osatsu, a place that offers a truly special opportunity to learn from those who live in harmony with the sea. Whoa, okay. I really like the cute Amasan in the video, and also, honestly, I just get so hungry after watching that video. Everything looks so tasty. So, don't we want to visit there together? Okay, so now we already have Tamasan standing by at the Amahat.、Uh, we'll not be going to Hachiman, but we will be featuring another Amahat called、um, Sato Omi An. Okay, we are handing over the time to Tamasan. Hello, Tama san. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. This is Tama reporting from Sato Mian. Now, this place is a kind of museum of the woman diver, and we call it Tama san. And this、uh, location is about one hour driving、uh, from Toba Station by Kintetsu Line.、Uh, the place is in Uh, Mie Prefecture, Sima City. Sima City is very famous for their、uh, fishing company and a lot of fresh seafood harvest.、Yeah. Uh, let us check inside. All right, we can call this place like a small museum. Here we can、uh, take a look of the details of what sort of harvest they have. And we have some、uh, pictures of the visitor from abroad and、uh, how the Amazon, Amazon equipment and how they cook the harvest there. And we can also see some、uh, pictures how Amazon. Dive with this kind of clothing and with the buckets, yeah. So they、uh, can put all the houses、uh, in the buckets, yeah. And if you visit this place later on, you can try to dress up like me and with the white cloth and with the headdress too, and with some goggles. You can always、uh, post over there, yeah. So Uh, let me introduce about the Amasan. Yeah, Amasan、uh, is actually is a woman diver. Long time ago, they dive without heavy equipment. Yeah, they just using this omori, something to weight them down, and they just go deep、uh, dive.、Uh, I don't know how long they can keep、uh, keep under water. Yeah, and they bring chisels. So they can check some kind of rocks and corals to collect the abalone and uh, maybe uh, 
scallops, yeah, any kind of turban shells, yeah, and they're using that kind of uh, that uh, the, the, the fish, yeah, and using the donuts like that, like a, a, like a net to put the harvest instead of these buckets too, yeah. And after they die, they have to rewarm the body. So after they come up, they make this kind of hut. We call it Amma Goya or Amma Hut. And they put some fire yeah? and they cook some soup or they uh, cook the harvest and eat themselves. Yeah? So I think they are very ha happy if they can collect a lot of harvest. Yeah? And somehow, if you visit, dress up like this and you want to post for your Instagram, we have some spot here. Very cute spot. <laughs> All right, and uh, this Atomian, it's not only the museum, but uh, they also have a modern kind of hut that we can enjoy uh, over there on the opposite. And it's like a barbecue space, yeah? So we have three spots on the opposite. That's church. Okay, today is a very good weather, even though a bit windy. Uh, this is a tree ama hut that we're talking about. One, two, three. Yeah, one is a uh, tatami room, so you have to take off the shoes. The other one is semi tatami room. The other one is a sitting. Yeah, so. Uh, you see, we are very next to the beach. Uh, Some menu for us inside the barbecue center. Yeah, let's check. We have a real Amasan here. Uh, Ama-san's name is Kimiyo-san. Yeah. Today, she already prepared. This will be our menu. It's a spiny lobster, turban shell, scallops, and some squid. Yeah. You can always discuss about the menu if you have some allergy or your preference. And depends on the season too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Good. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, oh, look at that pretty fresh too. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, this is not prepared today, fresh in the morning, because today is so cold, she cannot die. So maybe she prepared like a few days before that. Yeah? On behalf of you, I'll try it. Mm. It's so succulent, sweet and juicy. You can tell how fresh it is. Wow, you can see the Isabi now. She is uh, 
taking it from the shell. I was asking her how long she's been uh, working as Amazon. She said 52 years. Yeah, it's a senior, yeah, a very uh, professional. I was asking, uh, what is the most fun in this world? She said, yeah, she's very happy if she can get a lot of harvest. Wow. みそ and have it. Mm. Unbelievable. It's so succulent. Yeah. Hi. Okay, so uh, let's come up to the quiz. Yeah, later on, the Amazon will add. Sorry. Get ready. How long, how many minutes do you think that the Ama can dive? And stay underwater once, one time diving. A, one minute. B, five minutes. C, ten minutes. Yes, everybody, please make your guess how long Amazon can dive with just one breath. Okay, also, we'll have a few seconds for everybody. Maybe 30 seconds. Please make your choice. One minute, five minutes, or 10 minutes. Okay, it's counting down now. 20 seconds left. Hmm. Okay, made a choice already. About 10 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Okay, the answer, answer from the Amazon. Amazon. Okay. One minute. Yes, one minute. So did you make your correct guess? So congratulations to those who did. Okay. So uh, today we can come up to the question and answer. And we have the manager of Satomian. Miss Masuya, Masuya san, konnichiwa, yoroku maishimasu. So uh, your question will be uh, answered by the manager. Okay, do you have any? Okay, everybody. So let's, uh, let us ask some questions to our manager and Amazon on site. If you have any questions, please put them in the Q&A box. Thank you. Don't be shy, just ask anything to them. Ah, okay. So if not, I have a question by myself. Okay, I'll first ask in Japanese. I'll first ask in Japanese. Okay, kojin de ikubai de mo jizen yoyaku ga shitio desu ka? So if I go by myself, do I have to make any reservations? Uh, FIT guests or private guests, uh, I think it's uh, she said better to uh, make a reservation. Okay, understood. Thank you. Okay, let us check over here if we have any questions from Amazon. If not, sorry, please hold on, yeah. 
Okay. Then next question, also from me again. Amasan no ishio o kite, shokuji dekimasu ka? So, can I wear the Amasan costume while having the brand um, letter at your face? If you have a special request, uh, you can wear this clothing uh, and eat it, but uh, most of the time we can't because sometimes we have soy sauce and things, you know, sometimes we may uh, soil it. Okay, so uh, we come up to the ending of the session. Thank you very much. If you still have some other questions, please uh, email to us. And okay. Uh, thank you for your view today. If you visit me, please visit Satomiya. Thank you. Thank you, Tama-san, Kimio-san, and Masuya-san. Thank you so much, everybody, on site for your time. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Okay. So now we are by the sea. So shall we go up to higher ground for our next program that we have for you? Okay, so we'll move to Kumano Kodo, which is the Kumano ancient drought. And part of it is called Magose Toge. So let's watch what we have for this part of the program. BTR onegaishimasu. Today, we will walk along the Magose Pass in Mie Prefecture, a pilgrimage route that has been registered as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and has been traveled since ancient times. Hi everyone, it's another beautiful day and today we're going to be hiking the Kumano Kodo. Now, the Kumano Kodo is one of two pilgrimage routes in the world that are also World Heritage Sites, along with the Camino de Santiago in Spain. Oh. So today's guide is Yamasaki-san. Yamasaki-san, Hi. You're welcome to Kumano. <laughs> My name is Rumi and I'll be your guide today. The Magose Pass, one of the many Kumano Kodo routes, starts near the roadside station Miyama, just outside of Owase City. As we started our trek, our guide for the day, Yamasaki-san, gave us a little history lesson. The Kumano region is very isolated far from Osaka and Nagoya, but it has been a religious center for over a thousand years. It is home to three important shrines that are at the heart of an ancient pilgrimage route called the Kumano Kodo. The shrines, temples, and the ancient roads connecting them are a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This pilgrimage was the journey to the end of a bad life and the start of a better one. Many pilgrims came to Kumano for spiritual rebirth. In fact, many traveled so far to come here. It wasn't certain whether they would ever make it back home alive. Pilgrims put their life on the line to come. We walk today uh, from Ise to Kumano route, Iseji. Look. This is a signpost for the Kumano Kodo. Uh, it's also a rescue point. There are 22 along this path. They are placed every 100 meters. And 110 is to call the police and 119 is to call the fire station. If someone is injured, we can call, give the number of the signpost, and the help will be here soon. Okay. Step by step, we start our climb up the stone path. We were told that if it had rained the day before, it would be incredibly slippery, so keep an eye out on the weather. Apparently, Owase has a monumental amount of rainfall, so the local gods must have seen fit to bless our trip. The stones that make the path are the only thing that stop the rain from completely washing it away.
As we walked amongst the dense forest, our minds turned to those countless pilgrims, whose footsteps we are following in, all these years later. Eventually, we came across a well-cared-for Jesus statue. So could you tell us a little bit about what this is? This is a Jizo. Uh, there was a stone Jizo or guardian deity here for pilgrims or uh, travelers, but it disappeared about 80, uh, about 150 years ago, now only a simple uncut stone. The original Jizo statue was put here for the safety of travelers and pilgrims. Later, it became a place where parents pray to stop children from crying in the night or being restless. The locals believed that these statues have a soul and can walk. Perhaps that's why it disappeared. <laughs> After praying for safe passage, we continued on. The sound of the flowing water and the cool mountain breeze kept our legs from feeling heavy. We took a little break to admire the stunning view before finally reaching the summit. And this is the Magoseto Gate Pass. It is uh, 325 meters above sea level. And there used to be a tea house here. So, by the way, what do you think? Was there best selling items? Apple. Oh, yes, that's right. Oh, it's good, it's good. So, they were sold uh, rice balls, 
Tomatoro sandals, um, tea, and surprisingly, gunpowder. You know? Gunpowder. Gun yeah, yeah. mm -hmm. There were uh, many wolves. Wolves hate the smell of gunpowder. So pilgrims or travelers often bought some to protect themselves from the wolves. Are there wolves anymore? No! <laughs> Now it's time to start our descent, and don't miss out on a spectacular view of the town below. The Kumano Kodo is a must for anyone who is into spirituality and nature. Follow the footsteps of countless pilgrims from ages past, and perhaps it'll be just the refreshing boost that you need. So we just finished hiking part of the Kumano Kodo, the Magosu Pass to be exact, and I had a really great time. Um, I think the fact that you're following the pilgrimage route that's been used for hundreds of years, you really feel kind of the history and culture with each step that you take. And it's yeah. long been said that these mountains refresh the body and mind. And I think walking through and hearing the rustling of the leaves with the wind and mountain creeks, you really do feel a sense of being renewed and refreshed. Yeah, I feel better than before I started hiking, which is quite rare for this sort of thing. How do you like the mysterious atmosphere of the hiking trail? Okay, over here we have another quiz for you guys again. Okay, shall we have the quiz board out please? Thank you. Okay, the question here is what is the most recorded weather in Oase City where the Magose Toge is located at? A. Rainy. B sunny and see cloudy. So make your guess what is the most recorded weather in Oase City. Okay, we'll have about 30 seconds for everybody to fill up, the, uh, fill up your options over on the board. Counting down to 20 seconds. Have you got your answers up already? Okay, counting down 10 more seconds, please enter your answers. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. The answer is A, rainy. You get it right? Congratulations. So just a little background of this question. So in Owase City, where the Magose Toge is, it is one of the most rainy regions in Japan. So in Owase, it is said that rain falls from below. So it means that it rains really, really heavy. Okay, since now we are up on the mountains. So shall we descend back to the sea again? We will now have the final attraction of today and we'll be going on to live later at the Nikimoto Pearl Island. This is where the first pearl farming was born. Okay, so before we connect live to our correspondent on the island, let us watch an introduction video. BTR, Did you know that the first company to successfully cultivate pearls, Mikimoto, has a museum in Mie Prefecture? Hi everyone, so today we are at Mikimoto Pearl Island, where pearls were cultured successfully for the very first time in 1893. So it's got a very long and interesting history and the special guest we're going to have is Shikawa-san from the Mikimoto company come and explain a bit about the history and show us around. So, Shikawa-san, dozo. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Yoroshiku onegai shimasu.
Mikimoto Pearl Island. This is the birthplace of cultured pearls in Japan. The entire island is a theme park, designed by Mikimoto Pearls, to pass on the great work of Kokichi Mikimoto, the founder of the company, to future generations. In addition to the museum and store, there are demonstrations by traditional ama sea divers and a collection of natural pearls from around the world. First, we'll take a look at the exhibitions on the first floor. はい。これはですね、あの、貝が出す Some exhibitions teach the mechanism of pearl production, while the staff on site will demonstrate how they cultivate pearls. この角と呼ばれるものはアメリカのミシシピ川という淡水二枚貝を使用しております。で、こちらの角で真珠の大きさと形を成形しております。なのでこの角自体に様々なサイズがございます。このサイズによって真珠の大きさもそれぞれ変
yeah. even more impressive. It seems yeah. really tiring, and it's incredible to think that some of them are doing this into their 80s. Yeah, incredible. Okay, so we've just seen an incredible demonstration by the Amasans showing how they cultivate the pearls. We actually have another special experience lined up for today, so Shikawa-san. So this is an Akoya pearl oyster. And today we get to experience actually searching for pearls ourselves, which is a very like special thing to get to do. Yeah. So yeah, we're looking forward to seeing if we find any pearls. Ready? Mm-hmm. One, One, two, two three. three. Oh, do you see anything yet? No. We're gonna use these tools to search. Let's search our pearls and see if we Not all pearls are guaranteed to develop a shine. Some pearls come out without the coating. So extracting pearls is really just like treasure hunting. This one. 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 This and then they'll be able to arrange this experience for you as well. For those of you who do this experience and actually find some pearls, you get to keep them and take them home, which is amazing. Um, now, not every clam produces pearls, but we got lucky and we found some really pristine ones. So, I don't know what we're going to do with them. But maybe a pair of earrings? Yeah, pair of earrings. Um, but we'll see. Yeah, it was a great experience and I highly recommend that you do it. So we've just seen the second floor of the museum and up here they have some amazingly crafted art pieces such as the pagoda on the right. Now this was shown at one of the World Expos in 1926. Now it's absolutely fantastic to look at and there's lots of other things to see here as well, isn't there? And in addition to these uh, pretty spectacular pieces, they also have more um, vintage pieces from the early days of the Mikimoto company. So you get to see the evolution of pearl jewellery. It's well worth a view on the second floor of the museum. There's another exhibit on the second floor, which houses a collection of pearls from all over the world, many of which predate the founding of Mikimoto. So we just finished our tour of Mikimoto Pearl Island. We got to see the Amazons dive into the ocean. We got to see the exhibits in the shop, which was amazing. And we also got to find our own pearls inside of the oysters. And I happened to find a really, really nice looking one. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I guess I'll let you decide that because you'll probably be the one who wears it. <laughs> what did you enjoy the most? I thought it was really cool to see the Amazon 
um, diving into the water. They did it so gracefully, it was almost like synchronized swimmers. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to do that and, you know, some of them do it until they're 70 or 80, which is amazing mm -hmm. to think, isn't it? Um, it's well worth a visit and you'll definitely enjoy it. Nikimoto Pearl Island is a fascinating insight into an industry that once took the fashion world by storm. A glimpse at a golden age that captivated women from Tokyo to Hollywood and even the Queen of England herself. Our correspondent, Lexin, standing by live at Mikimoto Pearl Island. Over to you, Lexin. Hi, everyone. One more time. It's again Maxime, and we're here in uh, Toba City and Mikimoto Pearl Island. And maybe you can uh, see this announced. Uh, it means yeah. that just now, Amazon Diving Show, let's start. So, before we start our tour of museum and so on, I want you to see Amazon Diving Show just right now. You have a really great opportunity. You can see this uh, little board and Amazon is wearing the traditional clothes, white uh, wearing. And actually, uh, it's, it's unbelievable freezing here and the temperature of outside is 8 degrees Celsius and uh, water temperature is 14 degrees Celsius. Of course, it's, it's more warmer inside, but uh, I just cannot imagine that now these women will uh, dive inside in this cold water. Uh, uh, and uh, actually, at the first, I, I was I was thinking that uh, maybe they're using some uh, diving suits, but no, as you can see, um, I think they will close a little bit closer a little bit after. And you can see that they have nothing except their traditional white wears. It's really, really shock, shocking. Uh, and uh, actually, uh, this uh, Mickey Motoko Island is the only one place where you can see Amazon diving. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> you, have you seen it? It's, it's, whoa. Yeah, it's, uh, I can just imagine. Uh, and maybe you know that now in Japan, only all the generation of women makes this Amazon diving walk. So it's a really, really, really strong grandmas, and uh, it's uh, so incredible. Uh, I I just don't want to <laughs> to have such type of walk. I think. And uh, uh, maybe you are wondering why Amazon making their job here in Mikimoto Pearl Island. Actually, the answer is Amazon has very important role uh, in when cultivating uh, of pearls were invaded. And even now, Amazon making a very important job. They are taking care of uh, these cultivated pearls. Uh, every day in a year, uh, even in January, they are diving in such cold water or maybe warm water in summer and made their very important work more than 17 years uh, from uh, this uh, Mikimoto Pearl Island was founded. So <laughs> it's really very cool. So <laughs> let's go inside. <laughs> and um, uh, I little bit tell you about this place. Uh, Toba Pearl Museum is located uh, in Toba City. It's um, maybe 10 minutes walking from Toba Station to here. It's very close to Toba Station. So uh, you can just go here by train. And there are uh, different uh, places situated here, such like pearl shop, where you can buy uh, cultivated pearls. And on the second floor, there is a restaurant where you can spend very delicious uh, food of Mie Prefecture. And then if we go in further, uh, there will be pearl museum where you can learn a lot about pearl cultivating and about cultured pearls, its history, processing of uh, its production and so on. And on the second floor of the museum, there is something like observation deck. You can see this incredible uh, 
Europa Bay. Uh, with this really beautiful sea and uh, very beautiful sky and today we are very lucky because of good uh, because of uh, good weather but <laughs> it's it's very really sunny but it's very really cold really uh, and now <clears throat> here is the museum and i see that somebody is waiting for us Hi. okay uh, here is Ishikawa-san, and today he will lead us through this museum and tell us a little bit about Culture Pro and its history. And Mr. Mr. Isikawa will present out this nice gentleman and tell maybe a few words about him. So here is a photo of Mikimoto Kokichi, founder of this Mikimoto Pearl Island. And actually, Mikimoto Kokichi is one of the top 10 Japanese inventors. So his name is in list of top 10 Japanese inventors because he created this uh, cultural pearl the first time in history. Okay, and let's see the museum. Oh, it's very interesting. Here you can see the difference between uh, cultural pearls and natural pearls. Temaiが天然真珠なんですけれども、中に入っているものが天然真珠の場合は偶然貝の中に入った石とか砂、寄生虫です。so the closest to us, this one is a natural pearls, and he's he has very different forms because he is forming because of uh, very natural things like a sand which are uh, inter entered to the uh, pearls oyster, and uh, this one uh, it's uh, cultured pearls and it has very round uh, form because he created with, uh, about of very round nucleus. And here in museum, you can see a lot of different information panels. And of course, all of them has English translation. So if you want to have a lot of information about uh, pearls, uh, you can come here and read this by yourself. And even such <coughs> very nice markets and so on, you can see this. And uh, it's very easy to understand how nature, how these pearls are creating. <laughs> And here in this booth, you can see uh, different stages of creating cultural pearls and uh, different instruments and so on. At first, we need two uh, parts of uh, Oysters uh, of pearl oysters. One of them we cut uh, like this and make a round uh, form of four nucleus. And one more, we cut this on only this part of uh, oysters, it ca uh, calls mantle. So it has a very, very important role to create a cells, a pearl cells uh, to create a cultivated pearls. Uh, it means that this mantle will create such a uh, very beautiful pearls uh, surface. Uh, you put it into oysters and it takes two years uh, to create one uh, pearl. And here, uh, 
as the previous speakers, we have a quiz for you. Actually, uh, Mr. Mikimoto Kokichi, founder of this place, has a very different business uh, experience. And he had to leave the school at 13 years and make different business. And uh, what business uh, was his first business? Uh, why we are asking? Because he was, was Mikimoto Kokichi was the son of, of whom? He was the son of sushi maker or man who making Japanese sushi. Or was Mikimoto Kakichi a, a tofu maker's son? Tofu is a, a Japanese traditional soy cheese. Or maybe Mikimoto Kakichi was uh, the son of a Japanese noodle maker, udon, noodle maker. So uh, let's start thinking. And uh, we have a little bit of time. So before I said that here is a restaurant, uh, that's, uh, that's why uh, actually Mikimoto Kakichi has a connection to one of this type of Japanese food, sushi, uh, tofu, or udon. So uh, if this, we are stopping to take your answers. And Ikawa-san, which is the right answer? Yes, the answer is C no udon ya desu. Udon. Uh, Mikimoto Kakichi was the son of udon masters. And actually, he uh, grows in a family making udon. So uh, I hope you enjoyed our today's uh, very short tour. And uh, if you want to know something more, I highly recommend you to come here and see this very beautiful place. If you have chance to go to Mie Prefecture or, uh, or even uh, you have uh, this chance, come here. And now it's a time for your questions. Yes, everybody, do you have any questions for um... Ishikawa-san of the Mikimoto Pearl Island. So please feel free to input your to input your questions in the Q and A board. So while we are taking questions from the floor, I also have some questions for Ishikawa-san. Okay. Ishikawa no shitemon desu. Ano, toka no naka de shoukai ga atta yona taigen ano pearl o sagashite toridasu taigen desu kedo. あの、どのように要約できますか。また団体の対応も可能ですか。はい。えっと、動画で流れたら本当に特別な特別な体験なんですけれども、もしご希望ありましたら一度お問い合わせをください。So actually experience uh, which was shown in the video is a very very special one. So if you really want to book it, uh, at first you should uh take an advice uh, to book it yourself directly messaging to uh, here to Mikimoto Pearl Island and uh, you can try to book it because uh, you need to take some conditions. Yes. Is it okay? Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hi. Thank you so much. 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 あ、室内で見ることができる。あ、室内で。はい。はい。室内もありまして、これも特別なお部屋なんですけれども、こちらもえっと、海外のお客様無料で、え、しかも海外の言葉で、あの、英語とかですね、あの、テープを流してご案内
And over here for our Q&A, we don't have um, questions at this point, but if you have further questions for Ishikawa-san, please feel free to put it in the chat and then we will answer back later on individually. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.